Well, I've had a few people ask me if you can run these burners in the horizontal mode and uh, how you light them. And the answer is yes, you can. And this is how you do it. I've had some uh, viewers ask me about firing these things horizontally. Uh, I've put the elbow on that because I haven't got room to shoot jets of flame out that way, so I'm going to turn it up, make it look a bit spectacular. But uh, what people have asked me about is lighting it up on things other than uh, LPG or propane to the people in the US. So I'm going to have a go at um, lighting it up with wood. I've done this many times before. I've uh, cut that pile earlier and uh, we'll see how much we can get in. I'll pretty much put in as much as I can get, uh, throw in a little bit of fuel to start it and uh, we'll run it up from there and see how we go. That won't bit, bit won't fit. Get that one in. I've got some um, smaller, finer pieces, which happen when you cut the wood normally. I'll um, put those in, they'll help it start. It wouldn't be a bad idea to actually do this before the thing is um, laying down. It'll drop right in that way, I wasn't thinking. Uh, but I've already got all the air supply um, taped up because I don't have a way of taking it on and off easily because I'm using so many but a smart person would um, load this with the uh, the thing standing upright so uh, it all falls to the bottom and probably make the job much easier anyway that's what you get for uh, live television As you can see, I did manage to get all that wood in and something occurred to me and I am uh, going to actually turn this thing up on end. Uh, what I just thought of is by pushing it in, all the timber is going to be up this end. It's not where we want it. The oil is going to come in here. So we want to heat it from here and have the uh, heat travel up there from the timber. So what I'm going to do is just basically get it, knock all that wood to the bottom, and that's basically it. Now I know it's down here, it'll generate the hot coals there and the heat will travel up here and of course I'll use my trusty bolt to, uh, to block that off in a, in a fashion uh, once I get it lit. I'll show you a real-time start-up of this. Some people seem to think I'm uh, using some sort of trickery when I start these. Um, just to show you, it's dead cold, there's, uh, there's no heat there whatsoever, so I'll, um, I'll purge, I've put a little bit of fuel in there, I'll just flick the blower to purge uh, any residual gases, you don't want too many fumes in there. I've soaked that little bit of rag hanging out the end with a, with a bit of uh, petrol, and uh, I'll light that up, probably go off with a bit of a pop, and uh, then we should be going. So first I'll just give it a little bit of a purge, then I'll just wait for the air, and then I'll, uh, I'll light it. I'll see if I can get this bit across. And I'll put that bit in. Right, give it another flick. Yep, I can hear that burning inside. Now I'll just let that run and that should get the timber inside going and we'll see the flames climb up. I'll give it a little bit more air. Might be able to see now that the uh, the wood is taking off 
and there's a bit of smoke starting on the bottle. I would also normally put a bit of uh, oil in there, but as you can see by the position of the oil inlet, it's below the air, so uh, I don't want it to run back in, so I'll just wait till I throw a bit more air so any oil is actually blown in. Now you can probably see in here that that's starting to take off just like that, so I'll uh, give it a bit more air and start the oil. As you can see we're starting to run on the oil quite nicely. I think I have flooded it in there a bit, I can see some extra but we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Looks like she's starting to warm up now. And there we go. bolt in the end Oop, running out of fuel So I have given this a little bit too much fuel. I didn't have that much head on it, but I am using the half inch pipe. So it's been a little bit more touchy than I'm used to because I don't normally run them in this orientation. But all you do if that happens is just back it off, uh, wait till it uh, stops smoking and you'll hear the uh, change in the flame. And then you can just uh, slowly ease the, the fuel back into it again.
just like that and we're off and running again. Now obviously you normally would have a better thing on that uh, bolt on the end although you could have the uh, flame exiting that way as well if you wanted but again this is just for demonstration I don't have normal permanent setups it's just to show you how things work oh no look at that there's some smoke I'm gonna have all the environmental Nazi faggots complaining now as if I'm gonna end the world with this little bit of smoke obviously if you had this set up in a permanent configuration You'd have that hole better blocked with a bolt or a screw-in fitting and you wouldn't have it. But just watch and wait for somebody to have a whinge and whine about it. Now today's safety tip for those too stupid to look after their own well-being is as much as that angled pipe looks like a convenient place to take a dump Please don't do it. You'll get the best back crack and sack wax of all time. And you just might not like that as much as you thought. This is a burner. It's not an apparatus for taking a dump in. That's what your backyard's for. You know, viewers, I just can't wait for my new neighbours to move in. They've been lousy pains in the arse while they've been building and given me and my family hell with all their noise and throwing stuff into my backyard so I'm gonna have one hell of a greeting for when they move in I'll have a couple of these going at once night and day just to make them feel welcome now for those viewers a little bit slow on the uptake this is just one of my burners, which I've got loads of other videos on my channel, if this one is the first one you've seen. And all I've done is where I normally run it in the vertical position, I've just tilted it horizontally. They work just as well, if not better, because there's a bit more surface area. There's uh, a lot you can do with these things, and it's easy to change the orientation of them, as you can see. that most of you uh, love to see because I'm only running this on my small blower and through a small pipe but uh, it is just to show you how you can light these things in the horizontal position it's uh, really no different and the fact that they work really well the principle of operation is the same in that you need the air to swirl the uh, oil around and uh, get it nice and hot so it changes from a liquid to a gas which is what actually burns but you can do that very easily and it works quite well just for the inevitable questions here's the overall setup there's my uh, oil tank there it's just gravity feeding there's an open shut valve and a ball valve to meter the fuel the air is being supplied by this 400 watt jumping castle blower that I got from eBay and it's blowing the air into a tube and the oil is going in right there and just being blown in no nozzles, no pumps, no nothing else. It's just oil being blown in by the airflow from the blower. That's it. 
nice, simple, easy, and as you can see, works really well. I haven't even adjusted the fuel flow on this for like 10 minutes, and it's just purring away. No need to go to a lot of complication and expense. Basic, easy setups like this work just fine. One thing I have just played with and tried is just tilting the uh, burner back to the inlet side a little bit. Obviously the air is trying to push the fuel up to the outlet uh, and you don't want it all burning up there. So just a little bit of a tilt to combat that seems to make it burn just that little bit better, um, more or less the way it's designed. You could probably um, do them a little bit different with the inlet if you wanted to uh, run them in the horizontal position but that little um, change there just seems to make the thing run that little bit better so there's a little uh, operational tip for you so there you go viewers if you were wondering if you can use these things in the horizontal position there's your proof absolutely not a problem if this is the first one of my videos you've seen, please click on the oil burner channel name just under the video. Uh, I've got lots more burner videos and other things as well. And uh, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe. Don't forget to click the like button. And uh, thank you very much for watching.